think will probably only warm a few more degrees though because of the cloud cover. A 70 on Thursday, 63 Friday. Friday is the day you need to plan for some light rain. Have an umbrella with you. But that does come to an end Friday night. We see a front come through and know that on Saturday it will be chilly. We'll struggle to get out of the 40s. Wind chills will be in the 30s and 40s before we finally warm up on Sunday. Oh, you're right. Keep the jacket handy. That paella looked pretty good, didn't it? So there you go. There's my I'm always in for that. More ideas for Valentine's Day. Such romance in the air on SA Live. Happy Valentine's Day to you and you and you and SA Live starts right now. It's Valentine's Day, and the Alamo City has tons of places to take your sweetheart. From affordable to pricey, where you can take your true love for an unforgettable time, no matter the budget. We make popcorn, lots of it. We have over 40 flavors of popcorn at any one time. I'm getting into the mix as we pop into Alamo City popcorn. We're gonna tell you what we're making for Valentine's Day. Looking for love online? Well, someone can steal your heart and your money. What you should look out for when using dating apps and make sure you don't snag a scammer today on SA Live. Celebrating 10 years, live from historic Market Square, this is SA Live. Oh, I was worried the forest wasn't oh, going to get my here God. in time. What are you talking about? Thank you, Ted. Oh, that is so no, nice. No, these were of from you. me. Woo! There you go. Thank you. Oh, you're gonna save me. No, yeah, give me these back. I gotta take them home to my wife, so I'm just gonna set these over here real quickly. Oh, yes, well, it is the day of pink, red, hearts, and love. And, you know, we wanna, it's Valentine's Day, so which love soaked anthem does the nation love the most? Because you have to croon your loved one, right? You have to sing them a sweet song. Oh, don't Something tell me like you're that. Sing. Recent okay. study combines Spotify playlist data and national search data to determine which love songs Americans listen to the most. So we are going to reveal the top five songs in the country, but you have to take a guess based on the lyric, and you can play along at home. And like the old TV show, Name That Tune, I'm oh. going to sing the lyrics and to help you guess better. So, yes, it does. It says, please just read. Okay. No. So, <laughs> okay, okay, fine. Go ahead and sing. All right, this is the clue for the song ranked fifth in the nation. Sing us it, the lyric, Mike, and this is a serious song for serious singers. If I don't get that close, should stay. Okay, okay. For, uh, believe it or not, that was um, I Will Always Love You by Whitney Houston. <laughs> yeah, they thought we were playing the actual okay. music for us. All so. right, here is the lyric for the song ranked fourth, Mike. Thunder only happens when it's raining. Luckiest girl in the world right now. Okay. <laughs> um, that is Dreams by Fleetwood Mac, number four. So here is the lyric for the song. Sounded just like Christine McVie, ranked didn't I? Third, Mike. My lonely days are over and life is like a song. At last by Etta James. <laughs> See? So just like it didn't. The lesser known. Okay, yes. Okay. Yeah. All right, here we go. So now it is the lyric for the song ranked second. Second. Baby, I'm dancing in the dark with you between my arms. Okay, yes, this is a little more current, so I'm not I didn't think you would know that. But that is perfect by Ed Sheeran. My version of it was perfect? It is definitely Mike's version. You okay. know, there's Taylor's version, that was your version, okay? And this is the lyric for the song in the top spot for the nation, yet another somewhat current one for Mike. Go look ahead. to the stars, look how they shine on you. That was Yellow by Coldplay. Mike's person. <laughs> yes, it was. <laughs> All right. So thank you for playing along. According to the same survey, the top love songs in Texas are, don't worry, he's not going to sing. Go ahead. <laughs> Careless, Whisper, Careless Whisper, great music video, yeah. and Slow Dancing. No, where is Van oh, Morrison's no. Have I Told You Lately That I Love You? I'm pretty great sure we're out, of, song. we're out of time for the segment. Okay. okay. Right. Good afternoon. I'm Fiona Gorstiza. And I'm Mike Osterhage. <laughs> <laughs> so we want to know. Go ahead and scan that QR code and let us know what love song are you singing to your sweetheart and share pics of your sweetheart. Yes, We'd we love have to, to have them. some of those pictures of you and your favorite Valentine mm -hmm. up there. So just scan that QR code. All right. Valentine's, the best way to someone's heart is, oh, oh, oh there's a picture of here we go. My beautiful Valentine and yeah. I. This is from a party. Happened to be on Valentine's you Day. You guys look like you're in a magazine. <laughs> was this in a magazine? Is that background fake? Well, 
<laughs> All right, no reservation that I no problem. Our first guest is a Texas chef who specializes in private dinners, especially romantic dinners for two. He's such a little cupid, isn't he? He's sharing one of his best recipes to help get you things fired up for Valentine's Day. Yeah, yes. yes. Chef Leo Guetta from Eat Fredericksburg, Texas is here. He's tucked his Cupid wings away oh, with his special recipe I've for them. I've never been called a Cupid. Thank you. Yeah. I'm, I'm normally the little El Diablo. Ah, you know, so not that's, today. Not okay. today. They're not closely today. related here. Close, yeah. Yeah. Awesome. All right. yeah. What are we making today? Because it smells absolutely We're delicious. making a mixed paella. So not your traditional paella because we're adding two different styles of protein. Uh, really three if you consider pork, you know. Yeah. So um, yeah, it's Straight up delicious. And okay. you add it, your chorizo is a little bit different than what people normally think of, right? Right, so yeah, traditionally you would just have a straight up either a seafood or a chicken or a rabbit paella. Uh, we're adding seafood, we're really, you know, take, we're going against all the rules and adding um, the, the chorizo español and chicken along with the seafood. Because typically you would only go one protein? You're one protein, the yeah, okay. that's traditional. And okay. chorizo español is different than Mexican, For a right? Mexican chorizo, right, because it's the Mexican is not uh, cured. It's mixed with different um, Mexican spices. I love Mexican, you know, chorizo, but Spanish chorizo is just mostly smoked paprika with some garlic. It's totally different, and it's cured, so it's a hard, you know, chorizo. You have to cut it up, dice it up. And he gives a little taste, and it's delicious. Oh, it's, so, all right, yes, we've got veggies and all that stuff. What next? Yeah, yeah, so we added the chicken. We added it face down. Mm -hmm. um, and now uh, we can either remove the chicken, Fiona, if you want to remove it right before we put that rice in, that way it doesn't get all over the place. Sure. Uh, so we take it out, we'll put it here, mm -hmm. uh, and then we'll add the rice. Okay. Okay. And um, we're going to stir that around, Fiona, so we can, we really want to get a nice coat of oil all over that rice. Um, and you'll see it start changing. Um, and that kind of toasts yeah. a little bit then? Yeah, so we're going to toast it, get some color on it. Once you see the color change, you say, hey, you're doing good, girl. Come on. Mm -hmm. You got um, Then we're going to start adding, then we're going to put the chicken back. Okay. So I think you're, you're good. I we're mean, we're bringing chicken yeah, back. Yeah, this is going to be. Uh, <laughs> we have to speed things up magic. a little bit for uh, right, for television this, I mean, right here. We will take our time at home, you know, for yeah. this. Okay. So the chicken goes back yeah, in there. Yeah, we're going to add it uh, with the skin up now, bone down. Okay. So and you can this see. is one of the dishes. If you want to do down. a yep. romantic dish and not have to cook, he can come to your house and hey. do something like this or a million other of his fantastic recipes. Well, yeah, and I love to do it. Okay, okay. next now. step. So next step, we're gonna add the saffron water. So we took saffron, we steeped it in a warm water and it just turns that water to a nice golden color. You can see all the threads underneath. And oh, then yeah. that um, is what turns that girl. rice, all that it. nice all yellowy it. color right yeah. there. So we're gonna fill it all up. We're gonna put all the rice in. We're gonna get that water to rise above the rice, mm -hmm. but not totally fill that chicken up as you can see. Um, so after we do that, we're going to start layering our seafood. At this point, <clears throat> you can either cover it up, or you can just go put the seafood in one. Okay. We're, so we're going to distribute everything just evenly in here. Uh, so you want everything to look nice and, and mm -hmm. even. Um, so it's very inexpensive. You can just, you know, you just pour that in. Oh, no, 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 we want to put this oh, evenly done. Yeah, that's fine. Here we go. No, no, no. Okay. Yeah, we'll and, do it one time. And then the yeah. whole trick at the very end is to make sure it that is nice and crispy on the bottom, right? Right, so it's called it socarrat. We mm -hmm. get this nice crispy uh, crust on the bottom of the rice. And if you flip it around, you know, you can see oh, okay. some, you really want to dig in there. And, and to keep it from sticking to the pan, you said like you, a you good steak. You let it rest steak. just a little bit, five, you know, five, eight minutes. Bit. Okay, and real quickly before we go, you have a great wine that pairs with this, right? Right, so that is a wine that you can find locally in Fredericksburg at a local bar called 78624, mm -hmm. uh, the bar. And this is actually a Tempranillo. It's actually white temp. So normally you would find it it'd be red, but um, it is it is something super special that you know everyone can enjoy. And mm. if you're in Fredericksburg tonight, you want to stop by the bar uh, and, and try this out. It's really delicious. Mm. All right, show me again. This counters all those nice, heavy, Texas. rich flavors. Mm. Oh yeah, yes. for sure. Thanks, guys. Oh, thank you so much. For more information, just snap that QR code <laughs> that you're going to see there on your screen or at your website, salive.com and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab. Oh, that is delicious. All right, do you still need a last minute gift idea for your sweetie? Well, how about supporting a family owned shop on the city's north side and they have got some poppin' good gift ideas. Ooh, our Jen Tobias takes us to Alamo Popcorn where everything is made with love. family-owned business has 40 different flavors of popcorn from dill pickle to strawberry to beer cheese. We're gonna pop on into Alamo City Popcorn to see how they get it done. What a 
cute shop. Thank you, you so here. much. Thank so you. let's first talk about the shop. How long have you guys been in business? We have been here, it's, this is our eighth year. Eighth year. We have over 40 flavors of popcorn at any one time. And we try and do seasonal flavors. Mm -hmm. Like we do gift baskets, refillable tins. Mm -hmm. We've got a little bit of, bit of everything. Yes, I see candy. So also, if you're having a party, right? Yes. People can contact you. Great for a party. Help. We can mm -hmm. do individual little packages or set up like a popcorn bar. Mm -hmm. So Ooh, popcorn bar. Yeah. And it's a family business, right? It is. We're just looking for a business for kind of to teach our family, you know, how to have a business mm -hmm. and what's, you know, what that takes. And so that's what we did. We did our research and Okay, so 40 different flavors. I saw dill pickle. That's my daughter's favorite. It's one of our way. top five. Yeah. Oh, is it? Yes. Okay, what's the top flavor? Top flavors, probably extra buttery, yes. like movie theater yes. popcorn, yes. vanilla, dill pickle, and of course, caramel mm. popcorn. Okay, yeah. well, I'm excited. Today, we're all about Valentine's Day. We're gonna yes. do something really extra sweet. It's delicious. So it's our strawberry candy popcorn, okay. and then we drizzle it with white and milk chocolate. Mm. It's delicious. Chocolate covered strawberry popcorn. Okay, so we're gonna make our chocolate covered strawberry popcorn. Okay. And I like to start with the darker chocolate first mm -hmm. so that the white will show up really good. But I don't know if this is the official technique. This is the way I do it. Okay. You hold the spoon parallel with the and then you just drizzle. Oh yeah. That works. Yeah, you don't really, you don't want to have any clumps in there, but you want to get a really good coating. So dark chocolate or milk so chocolate first. So the milk first. chocolate mm -hmm. first. And then I'll let you put your white chocolate oh, you try. on there. Careful, Ted. Look at there. You're a pro. <laughs> And then, the, how long does this have to sit then for a while? So, mm -hmm. it really only takes, you know, maybe like five or eight, five to eight minutes okay. for it to set. Mm -hmm. And then we'll shuffle it up, it all goes in a bucket, and then we go from there. Yeah, ready for Valentine's yeah. Day. Okay, Leslie, so this is another great idea for a date night all year long, but perfect yes. for Valentine's Day. Yes, yeah, so we can put together any, we have many different size tubs, but this is our date night tub. Nice. So you can put two junior popcorns in okay. there, and you picked strawberries and champagne and a spicy mm -hmm. street corn. Yeah, strawberries and champagne. All right. Okay. And then we picked out two sodas. Strawberry. Strawberry. Going with a the little theme here. Bubble gum. Bubble gum. Just because I like the pink there. Okay. Yeah, there I need your go. help here. There we go. <laughs> and then put some more shred in there. Add, of course. The one we made. Yes. <laughs> right there. Nice. Then we would wrap it up, put a bow on it, and it's I perfect. Mean, this is better than a box of chocolates. Yes. For sure. Absolutely. Yes. All right. Well, for more information, you can head to our website, essaylive.com. Click the As Seen on Essay Live tab or scan the QR code on your screen. I'm having way too much fun. Sorry if I messed it up, Leslie. You're perfect. You're perfect. Okay. I'm intrigued by that and intrigued by these flavors that Jen okay. brought with yes. her. All, All right. right. You guys We're going to taste test these, okay? Let's yes, see we'll start here guess. on this one. Yes, you can give, give that a try. Like I said, 40 different flavors, okay? What do you think? Dill, dill pickle. Oh, dill wow. pickle. Dill pickle. Close fried pickle. Oh! And, and okay. there is a difference because they have a dill pickle yeah. as well. Okay, okay, next one. Try that one. Oh! Bubble gum? Yeah. Almost. Bubble gum. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Yeah. All right. That's good. That was easy. Last but not least. <laughs> yes, such a trained palate. <laughs> And by the way, you can find them at mm. the rodeo too. They're near the distillery. They were selling their popcorn Ooh. there. What is that, pizza? Ooh. No. I don't know. I can't. I don't even know if that's kind of close, maybe. Cheese? What is it? I'll give, I'll give, beer uh, cheese? Hot Cheetos. Hot Cheetos. Hot Cheetos. <laughs> <laughs> it's like beer Flame cheese. It hot. Flame hot. Ted yep. said they have a beer cheese flavor that he loves, so. Yeah. Yes, yes, Ted couldn't stop eating, right, Ted? Mm. Yes, 40 Ted. different <laughs> flavors. Oh, yes. these are, this is good. Yes, yeah, so Thank be sure you. to go find them. They're off 281 and Thousand Oaks. And uh, again, family owned business parties, and they got their Lucky Charms coming up too. All right. All right. Looking for the perfect date night spot from affordable to fancy. There's lots of options here in the Alamo City. We share some from the top influencer and her favorite local picks. But first, flowers and chocolate are perfect for your sweetheart. 
But what about, what about your sweet pup? The local expert shares some great ideas for showing your dog they're positively sexy. Oh, in a minute. It's next on SA Live. Welcome back to SA Live. Well, from doggy daycare to training to boarding, even wedding taxi services, our next guest does it all for your furry friends, including treating them like a part of the family. And our dear friend, Stephanie Garza, owner and certified trainer from Pup Pup and Away, is here to show some great ideas when you can show love to the member of the family, right? Yeah, absolutely. Oh, who, who is that? This is Rishi. She's my six-year-old schnauzer. Oh. And of course, dogs are just like us. The way to their heart is food and treats, right? Absolutely. <laughs> so I'm, I'm thinking, you know, you get the little dog treats from the store or something like that, but you've got something special here. So what do we yeah. have going on? Yeah, so today we're going to make a homemade applesauce parfait. So mm -hmm. what you're going to do is you're going to take some sliced apples, take about one apple, slice it up. Then you're going to take some bone broth. If you don't have bone broth, you can use tea or water. You're going to grind that up, and that's going to get you a nice consistency just like that. So this and is like the hunting. doggy applesauce. That's sweet tea, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. So okay. then from there, you're going to put that in a dish, and then we got some whipped goat's milk, which is really great for some probiotics. So it's like a whipped cream on top, which is super delicious. Mm -hmm. And then the last thing that we're going to do is toss on some what I call puppy sprinkles. This is a baked kibble and some freeze-dried mackerels. Ooh, yummy. All that omega-3. <laughs> so this is a functional yet delicious treat for your dog. So what will this do for the, the dog? Yeah, you? so the apples are going to be high in polyphenols, which is great for cognitive thinking, so to protect that brain. The goat's milk is going to be high in probiotics are really great for the digestion and then those mackerels are going to be really high in omega-3 so great for skin and coat. Okay and cool. then like the whipped goat cheese and every, or goat's milk, mm -hmm. can you find that where? Typically you have to go to a, like a special boutique dog store to find that. Okay. okay. The whipped goat's milk. Yes. Okay and then the next idea is go on a doggy date. Yeah so three of my favorite places that Rishi and I like to go is Tandem Coffee for some delicious wine and coffee. They have a really great outdoor patio. We also really like 1604. Uh, Camp 1604 it's an indoor outdoor area. Um, um, lots of fun games for the people as well, and they have you give your dog a cute little pup cup, which is fun. And then my personal favorite is the Good Kind because they have such a beautiful backyard that you can just relax and hang out with your dog, enjoy the nice weather. Now, playing with your your dog, I mean, that's good exercise for you, kind of that bonding and everything. But teach him a special trick. Yeah, so let's go ahead and show you Rishi's favorite trick. And um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna teach a weave or I like to call it the hustle. So with my treats, <laughs> I'm gonna have food. Oh, she smells all kinds of delicious stuff in here. I have treats in both hands. We're gonna start her off on one side. You're gonna step out with the opposite leg and weave her through, yes. Each time she goes through, you're gonna mark and treat. And then you can kind of start to even that out with two times as she gets better with it. Oh my goodness. So that's our that. hustle. So what is she learning from this? Just to have fun. It's a good okay. way for her to use her brain, do some problem solving, and of course it's a good way for you to build your bond with your dog. And do you want to do something like different every day or something like that to, to mix to it up? Yeah, you definitely can. She knows about 17 different tricks, so she kind of keeps it nice and wow. fresh. We're also learning how to skateboard right now, so we're just oh, kind of wow. hanging out. Yeah, I didn't bring, <laughs> so we didn't bring that today. So than my dogs. Okay. <laughs> and of course, uh, playing a game too, right? Yes, yeah, so another fun game that we have is going to include some boxes, and this is what we call nose work. So we all have these boxes laying around our houses, right? Yep. So you can take a few of them. I would always mark one as your food box. So we're gonna take some food, stick it in here, Rooney. And when you're first starting this off with your dog, you wanna kinda mix them around. She knows this game pretty good. <laughs> so it's like playing three-card Monty with the dog. Yeah, almost, so, so as your dog gets better with it, you can start to move it around. And then what I like to do too is take the food and then hide it around your living room so that way you don't have the boxes anymore. Oh, okay. yeah, and then they really and still for a it. new toy, and you said this thing is one of her favorites, right? Yes, so that is our little to-go container. She's already looking at you with that. So I already uh -huh. filled it up with some treats, but definitely put some more in there. Here, yeah, here. so with the, you put the treats in the noodles, you roll the noodles up, toss some more in there, and then she just likes to have fun. She snuffles around in there, grabs the treats. It's a great way for your dog to work their, for their meals. But and that this. floor pole is her favorite. Oh. So it's I like a. Guess. I would think this would be something more for a cat. 
You would think so. Like it? it's, a, it's a gigantic cat toy for sure, um, but some dogs really enjoy chasing things, so dogs that have a high prey drive. It's just pretty much like a doggy you pinata. You your couch. I know. It, that's that's the best part of it too. All right. mm -hmm. Thank like you so much. Well, for more information on Pop Pop and Away, just snap that QR code that you see on your screen or head to our website, essaylive.com, click on the As Seen on SA Live tab. Thank you and so much, Stephanie. Stephanie does personal training mm -hmm. as well. All right, spring break's going to be here before you know it. See what one Texas amusement park has this year. And next, does Valentine's Day have you reaching for those dating apps? Well, we've got some important what? warnings before you get swept off your feet by a catfish. It's straight ahead on SA Live. Welcome back to SA Live. Well, picture this. It's Valentine's Day. You're swiping through a dating app or social media. Someone charming reaches out to you. He's a 10, but something's wrong. And that something could be a romance scam. But don't worry, we have someone here to help. Alex Aguian, Assistant Vice President, Enterprise Fraud with RBFCU. We are so glad you are here to help, okay? Because roses are red and violets are blue. Romance scammers are out to get you. It can be difficult to spot a scammer, right? Absolutely, 100%. Especially when an emotion like love is involved. And it's so easy online to be somebody you're not on a dating app or social media to pretend to be somebody else. Absolutely. I mean, I think a lot of people are familiar with the show Catfish. Yes. And, it's, and it's like that, right? Because they use that emotion, that love, to kind of build that trust. Therefore, a little more dangerous, okay? Absolutely. You have some scenarios for us to weed out romance scammers, all right? And we've called it He's a 10. But he might have some red flags, right? Absolutely. Let's play a little game. Let's, let's do this dating show here. All right. We have so there first, it is. First mm -hmm. example here. He's a 10. He's an adventurous traveler looking to sweep you off your feet. But he's fallen ill. Um, he needs financial assistance. He's trying to gain your trust and, and make you believe that you, know, you helping him is going to build y'all's love together. Mm -hmm. Yes, and he's pushing for financial assistance yes. as a sign of trust and Absolutely. love. Absolute red flag. Absolutely a red flag and somebody to avoid. Okay, all okay. right. Second scenario. Let's move on. We have um, our, our man in the military. He's stationed abroad, um, but he's, he's having financial difficulties mm -hmm. and having difficulties accessing his accounts. He's really down and out, and he needs your help to support him um, in, in getting access to his funds at this moment. Mm -hmm. And, of course, he promises to make it up to you once he's home. Absolutely. And He's in the military. Yeah, who right? wouldn't trust him? Who wouldn't right? trust that? Right? right, which is exactly why <laughs> you should probably take a pause. Yes, okay, absolutely. scenario number three. Scenario number three, we have an individual. He is absolutely gorgeous profile picture, charming, good morning text every single day. He went, he's never felt like this before. Of he course. wants to sweep you off your feet yeah. and plan a life together. Mm -hmm. Let's get married. Let's buy a home. Let's combine our finances. He's the we guy. Yeah. We, we, we. He is, let's combine <laughs> our finances and let's get started building our future. But I need you to send me some money to get that started. So what are the main things to remember when dealing with a romance scam? Somebody, a, a, a potential suitor is not going to start asking you for money um, mm -hmm. right off the bat. They're not going to ask you to invest in, in cryptocurrency, ask you to send gift cards, submit wire transfers to them for money. That's going to be a huge red flag. What you want to do is you want to talk to your loved ones, talk to your friends, people you trust about your new relationships. If they have concerns, that's a huge red flag. And you should start doing some more digging and finding out a little bit more about the person that you're talking to. All right. And to learn more about current scams and how to stay safe, all you have to do is head to their website, rbfcu.org slash security or call 210-945-3300. Alex, thank you so much. You really are a 10. Thank, thank you. you. All right, next. The date nights don't have to end after the month of love. How you can have a whole year of romantic and fun dates right here in the Alamo City. We check out some great spots around town to take your sweetheart. Don't go anywhere. Welcome back to SA Live. Our next guest is a San Antonio enthusiast. She covers everything from food to fun on her social media pages. She has more than 100,000 followers on TikTok, and some of her posts get more than 1 million views. Gabby Gonzalez, also known as Siempre San Antonio, is here with some great ideas to keep the date nights going all year long, right? So Absolutely. good to see you. Yes. Good to see y'all. Thank you for having me and happy Valentine's Day. Yes. All right, you may have gone off for an expensive dinner for Valentine's. Now you want to kind of go on a budget. What you got? Yes. 
So there's a lot of fun, budget-friendly activities to do here in San Antonio, some being a free comedy show, improv show, even open mics. So if you didn't know, there is a comedy club downstairs at the Magic Time Machine. A lot of people don't know about that. And the tickets are usually about 10 bucks. Sometimes they're free. Wow, did not know that. Okay, what's another one? Another one, you can grab a happy hour bite at Rebel at the St. Anthony Hotel and then check out a free jazz show in their lobby. It's always such a good time and they have free valet if you buy something from them. That's There's right, Tuesday jazz nights there at the Oh, that's the right. okay. It's so much fun. And then you can actually get a B-cycle bike at the Mission Trail. So ride down the Mission Trail through the missions, through Confluence Park. Always a good time to Perfect get out. Perfect time of year to do it too. Absolutely, the weather's, great. Yeah. the weather's wonderful. And get a wonderful bite and drink at the Tower Bar, which is the Bar 601. Great views and great bites. Okay, so if you want to splurge a little bit, there are some ideas for that too. Right? Absolutely. So just last night, I went to the Majestic. So you can catch a show at the Majestic right now. They're playing Beetlejuice through February 18th. Another great thing to do is get a beautiful view of the city through the helicopter rides. You can actually get helicopter rides through Alamo Helicopter Tours or a kayak rental through Mission Adventure Tours through the Museum Reach. Really? Okay. Absolutely. You don't have to keep the kids mm -hmm. out, right? No, you don't. There's so much for you to do with your kids. You can go to Hopscotch, which is an interactive gallery. They have some new installations right now. There's also mini golf that you can do indoors or outdoors at Cosmic Mayhem or Coolcrest. Now there's also Diversions Game Room. It's definitely a classic here in San Antonio, so take the kids to the arcade and have a good time. Wow. Okay. All right, so how can people find more great spots for me? Well, you can check me out on all social media platforms under Siempre San Antonio. What's one of the places, one of the new places that you've either checked out or you want to check out? So I haven't checked out this spot, but I've heard great things. It's called Uncharted Adventures. So they have a lot of fun activities within this one space. You can splatter paint, you can do a rage room, they're going to have an escape room, a karaoke room, so lots of things to do within this one space. Really? Absolutely. Oh, that sounds like a blast. And you said good food too, right? <laughs> good food. Two stuffed. They have California style burritos. My friend owns that spot and they're incredible. Okay, and if you like pinball, you mentioned a place earlier for you that, You sure right? can, yeah. So you can get coffee and play some pinball at What's Brewing. They have over 20 pinball machines. About how many different things would you imagine that you have listed on your site to do? Because you, I mean, you cover literally everything. A, a 360 everything. <laughs> Honestly, I lost count. <laughs> There's so much to do in San Antonio and so much more that even myself have, hasn't done. So I'm really excited to explore more. Love All the right. ideas. Thank you so much. For more information on Gabby Gonzalez and Siempre San Antonio, just snap that QR code that you see right there on your screen or head to our website, salive.com, and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab. Thank you again, Gabby. All right, from Rainforest to Pyramids, this Texas amusement park has it all. We found out what's brand new for your spring break adventure. And next, every night can be a romantic one when you have your own hot tub. How you can bring one home and even get $1,000 off. You don't want to miss this deal. And don't forget, it of course is the day of love. Which love song are you going to sing to your sweetheart? With the pictures there, just you and I. Oh, Eddie Rabin, no. oh, great song. Eddie Rabin, Crystal Gale. I remember that Even one. Even a great song. <laughs> it's been a little, <clears throat> excuse me. It's been a little chilly this week here at Historic Market Square. Doesn't a hot tub session sound so nice right now? We have a sweet health and wellness deal that will help you relax and have an even happier Valentine's Day. And it's our new best friend, Casey Robertson, Director of Sales and Marketing for Sweetwater Hot Tubs, all right? Okay, we all know hot tubs are relaxing, maybe even romantic, okay? But they have other health benefits too, right? They sure do. They offer a ton of wellness benefits, okay. not just from feeling sore and rejuvenating your muscles, but it calms your mind, um, helps improve circulation, brings oxygen and release toxins from your muscles. Um, because, you know, the human body is mostly water, right? We are made of water, yeah. so we react very positively to warm water, absolutely. And one of the things that people don't realize about hot tubbing is it makes connections. So it's that 
few minutes out of every day that you get to spend with your significant other, your children, teenagers, put everything aside and just get to spend that quality time together. So making hot tubbing part of your daily ritual will improve all of those aspects of your life. And tell us about freshwater hot tubs and how they work. So freshwater hot tubs by Caldera is a different way of treating your hot tub water. It's much longer lasting, a lot easier on the skin, on the eyes, just feels much softer. Your water will stay cleaner um, and it'll just be a much better feel. So you're saving money, you're saving time, you're feeling better, and it's about a third of the cost of other brands that are out there making that type of system. And so if you've got a hot tub right now, maybe an yep. older hot tub, um, can you try that in? Yes, you sure can. Come on into any of our three locations, speak to our amazing salespeople, and they will help work out a deal where you can trade in your hot tub you for a brand new one. And they can get you in that Absolutely. Today, right? <laughs> <laughs> okay, all right, let's talk financing. Okay. We offer a lot of different financing packages, 0% um, mm -hmm. financing. So again, just come on in, mm -hmm. speak to one of our great salespeople, and they'll hook you up. And what can you tell us about an upcoming expo? Well, we have an upcoming expo mm -hmm. soon. I'm mm -hmm. not going to release the date yet. Okay. Um, I'll be here with you again in a couple weeks, so I'll release that date. And we're also going to be introducing an awesome new product that we're going to be offering and we'll have out the expo as well. Okay, all right. We are going to keep that in mind. So the first, here's the deal, the special deal for today, folks. So pay attention. The first 25 callers will get a sweetheart package with their purchase. That is $1,000 off his and her robes and a couple's massage. Just call 210-590-6700. They have three locations in the area, two in San Antonio and one in Live Oak. So for more information, just visit the website, sweetwaterhottubs.com. That's tubs with a Z. Casey, thank you so much. Thank you. All right, it's a romantic destination that's just a drive away. Whether it's just a trip for two or the whole family, you don't want to miss this. It's next on SA Live. Welcome back to SA Live. Well, are you plan on a road trip for spring break? There is a great place to take your family not too far away, and it's a last minute getaway for sweethearts as well. We are talking about none other than Moody Gardens. Here with everything you need to get packed up and headed out is marketing director Jerry Hamachek. Welcome. Thank you. Okay, for those who haven't heard of it, what is Moody Gardens? We're one of the largest tourist destinations in Texas, uh, located on Galveston Island. So a little island getaway for spring break is a perfect opportunity to bring the kids along. And we've got a variety of different attractions, a four diamond hotel, and uh, our public golf course, Moody Gardens Golf Course, is ranked number four in the state of Texas. Wow, we're looking at the video right now. Oh my goodness. Yeah. And from here in San Antonio, obeying the speed limit, about how far? <laughs> <laughs> you know, I think you're a little over three hours, okay. three and a half. All right, what do you have new for spring break? Um, well, we're supersizing spring break, and what that means is we've got a value pass. It's a one-day pass, and usually that gets you into all the attractions, and um, you can enjoy the Aquarium Pyramid, Rainforest Pyramid, 3D Theater, 4D Theater, Audience Recognition Theater, the Colonel Paddle Wheel Boat, Discovery Museum, Zipline and Ropes Course. That will get you into all of that. Uh, but we have four new films that are opening for spring break. So rather than being able to go to one film, we're just giving unlimited admission to all the attractions, including however many films you want to go see. And if you want to go back into the aquarium and see the penguins again, or go find the sloth because you didn't see them in the rainforest, you can go into whatever you want to as much as you want to that day. So you just rattle off more than a dozen things that you can just go around there and see all sorts of different things and do all sorts of different things too, right? Yes. And, and we've got all kinds of hotel packages as well. Uh, oh, wow. So we bundle together attractions tickets with it, or golf, or we have a fantastic spa in our hotel. So. Oh, look at the pool there. Yeah. Oh, that looks nice. <laughs> so it's perfect. I mean, the kids can, can play, and then mom and dad can enjoy golfing, spa, a little bike ride around there. Yeah. Like that. And we have uh, what our, we have one of the most kid-friendly hotels you're going to find, and we have something that's called Kids Crew, and we've got activities for the kids. So. 
you know, mom and dad, sometimes you need a minute. So the kids can be busy doing kids' career activities. You can wander out to the uh, pool, have a drink, or go have a cup of coffee and have a moment to yourself. Sorry, I'm not paying attention. I'm looking at the delicious <laughs> food on that <laughs> video right there. Also, you've got kids' camps and, like, adult camps, too? Yeah, our spring adventures. Uh, those are VIP experiences. So or before the attractions open in the morning, we'll give you a guided tour into our aquarium pyramid or rainforest. And um, it's kind of more of an adult experience but you're welcome to bring the kids with you and it's just VIP and more immersive type of experience for a special opportunity to start out your day. Well, I, you could spend a day, you could spend a week there and not see everything, I, I think. Yeah, Galveston really is a fantastic getaway and um, you know, I, I would like to mention the four new films too that are coming up. We've got um, we've got cephalopods, 3D, and those, that's like your squid, octopus, those mm -hmm. kind of ocean creatures. We've got another film that's called Fungi 3D, which is, think, think of mushrooms, not a fun guy, right. but fungi. <laughs> okay. But you can bring your fun guy, and you should. All right, <laughs> and you've got a giveaway as well. So go to salive.com to enter to win a family four-pack of tickets or the grand prize giveaway, including a hotel stay at Moody Gardens. Take a road trip this spring break to Moody Gardens on Galveston Island for tickets and more information and there is so much to do there. Give them a call at 409-744-4673 or visit the website moodygardens.org. Jerry, thank you very much. Thank you. All right, tomorrow on SA Live, it is the hottest Louis hats for San Antonio Rodeo. How you can get a custom look that you can wear with pride. Will you ride? And it's smoking Out Barbecue. Fiona goes to a veteran-owned barbecue joint that's heating up a blend of the best barbecue flavors. That and a whole lot more, 1 o'clock tomorrow, right here, SA Live. Song, are you singing to your sweetheart? If I haven't said it before, I'm the luckiest girl in the world. This is from Susie. Oh, great song. Yep. Oh, thank you. Okay, I thought you were going to sing. You are the sunshine of my life, is what she said. Okay, this is from Kelly. Happy Valentine's Day. A song of my husband, Billy Jack, would be Love Always and Forever. Aww. Aww. Oh, and from Happy our anniversary. producer, Diana. Happy anniversary. It's their anniversary, and her husband learns a new love song to play for her every Valentine's Day. That's it. Make the rest of us look bad, pal. Yeah, <laughs> That's set the wonderful. Bar, Justin. Yes. Aww. Love that. I love all the pictures, too. Okay, and here's a quick sweet deal for Valentine's Day. Now through Sunday, February 18th, a dollar from every drink sold from Dutch Brothers' new Dutch Love menu will go towards the San Antonio Food Bank. And only for today, buy two drinks of any size, get two matching bestie bracelets for you and your bestie. Cheers. The caffeine and love. <laughs>